Oh, we knew it was going to be rough, but uh, see, we'd already been in combat, so we flat darn well knew what it was like. It wasn't that we were just, this the first time, we weren't a virgin outfit, <laughs> you know. Although we did have a lot of replacements with us that had not been in combat, you know, that we picked up to f fulfill, fill out our ranks, because when we came off the line, uh, let's, let's, I want to give you an idea of my troop, uh, should, which is a troop in the cavalry is the same as a company in the infantry, and I was in the first cal division, so we had we had troops, and my troop would be about 200 men and officers, men and officers would about would come up to about 200 men. When we came off the line, you know, we were only about 50 or 60, and we mostly fought that way. Sometimes we'd be We'd get a few, quite a large group of replacements, and we'd be up close to 100. Now, remember, we're doing the work of a company that should be 200, but we never were there. You know, we're yeah, always of casualties. Left. Casualties. Yeah. And you couldn't get replacements in fast enough to fulfill the ranks. But when we came off the line and started making those practice landings, they really built us up to full strength, you know, to go up to Japan. I, well, that's where we went up to Japan. We we thought we were going to Formosa, but we were going directly to Japan. We would have heavy casualties, and that most of the wounds are would be from the waist up because of of the trajectory of the beach where we were going to land. Because they'd taken aerial photographs of all that, they knew all this, you know. Whoever up high and plans these events, and uh, that we were going to land. Uh, we were going to land early in the morning, wherever it was, and we would expect heavy casualties uh, uh, in this uh, landing. That's all we were told. It's just the way a soldier thinks about that sort of thing. And I, I, I know it sounds funny, but that's kind of the way you look at it. You know, you don't, you don't think about yourself. And uh, I don't know of anybody that tried to back out you know, we were all gung ho to go do these jobs. We weren't, we weren't saying, "Look, not me." You know, <laughs> it just didn't, it just never occurred to you at all. You know, I don't know of anybody that felt that way.